Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes Hardcore Mode. I'm Super Twonky, and today we're going to be continuing on with Earth and possibly finishing it this time. I'm hoping we can. But I noticed that my quest marker told me to go talk to the Root Mother, so that's what we'll do now. I feel much more myself. It is age you seek, a road you pursue. But to find him, you must first open the labyrinth. Look to a great shimmering light in the sky. The path to its source is protected by a monstrous root creature. Slay the beast. Seek the light. Wait. One more boon I can offer to fight back against that which would erase us. You carry a piece of the dragon's heart. The root is selfish with its strengths. Great forces are wielded among the world. I can offer you this boon. All right, and the root mother can upgrade your dragon heart. It's the item you use to heal. You need some Eulacrum to do it. I believe we found this one on an adventure mode. So yeah, I'll go ahead and upgrade it. It also takes Luminite Crystal too. But I haven't really used dragon hearts all that often because I've been relying on the healing Take circle. Care. But I'm not going to be using that forever, so... And... Yeah, I would recommend upgrading the Dragon Heart as much as you can, because especially for the final boss, it's very useful to have multiple heals available. And let's just go back to Mud Tooth and we can continue on clearing out the new Earth location. So looking at the map, I am seeing a possible side dungeon I missed, kind of to the west and north of where I am, so I'm just going to backtrack there for a little bit and check that out. Okay, well, we have one of these Gatling root guys, so yeah, let's just do hot shot, take him out quickly. Get out of my face. Just trying to get through here fairly quickly. Ah. Dang it, I am not doing this guy very well. Let's swap to the SMG. Yeah, it looks like there is it's over. a little side dungeon up here. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is the Tangled Pass. I forget where exactly this leans. Um, I want to say it's either Tale of Two Lizards or The Mangler. Neither of which we really care about, but I guess I'll just go through and we can at least check for the trade book. Damn it. And, uh,. Possible purple item.
just trying to chew through these roots. They're not really a big threat. I don't like these guys though. These rolly guys. Oh, we have another simulacrum. Yeah, this is definitely worth checking out. Popped hot shot. I hope it's not for nothing. That looks like we ran out on hot shot. Oh well. Ah, uh, there he is. Came out. Yeah, I'm playing a little bit looser than last time, I think. Mainly because, like, I, I kind of want to show you, you don't need to be super careful with this setup. Like, Leto's armor is <laughs> makes taking damage very forgiving. So... And that's kind of one of the points I want to get across in this series, is that like you don't have to be super good at this game to complete hardcore mode. If you've got the right build. Yeah, I went around the upper path that was kind of behind me, and it didn't really have anything. So we're just moving forward. Got a nice weak spot critical on that guy. Take out the roly-poly. Ow. This guy, yeah, we'll make short work of, work of him. The, um... Sorry, lost my train of thought there. The hotshot mod on the sniper makes it pretty formidable against tough enemies. I mean, the sniper is already powerful, being a single shot weapon. But the hot shot just makes it, you know, that much more. Really good for taking down elite enemies. And there's our trait book. And I didn't see a purple item, but I explored the whole map, so I don't think we missed it. I wonder if the simulacrum took its place, or if maybe it's just at the end in here. The artery. Huh, yeah, this is going to be the mangler. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Mangler is a mini boss. And yeah, I think getting hot shot sniper shots on him will make quick work of him. And before going in, I am going to go ahead and drink the stew and the tonic for we got from Mudtooth. There we go, more health and more endurance. What's the word? Stamina. More stamina. Yeah. Oh, we got the enchanted version, which means there are going to be fruit explosions happening around the map. That's a little annoying. Oof. Uh. 
And I got hot shot back, so. Yeah, he should be. Yep. And he's gone. Took some damage, but not too bad. And they, at any point, I probably could have activated a healing circle or taken a dragon heart if I had really felt threatened. Okay, now we exit, and this, I think this gets us to the other side of the gate. Yeah, I think that's Mudtooth right at the head. Make sure you're breaking down chairs and stuff as you go along. Since that's a good source of scrap. So we open the gate. And then... This way... Let's see if it's this way. Yeah, it looks like we had another... This is probably going to be some sort of mini dungeon. Let's see... Oh, nice, it's the Hunter's Hideout. I was hoping we'd get this one. This will get us the hunting pistol. Best step away, stranger. Oh, hell. <laughs> right as rain. How much longer, though? <coughs> Here, don't mind leaving my... Mind your feet, though. <coughs> now get on. <coughs> okay, she just gave us the key. And now we'll just get through this dungeon. There are traps on the ground that we'll kind of have to look out for. It sounds like the uh, enemies here are triggering them though. I don't know why that guy startled me. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Yeah, normally... Normally if a, one of those explodey guys pops on you like that, it's pretty significant. But you can see, like, with the combination of Leto's armor and the tonic, it really didn't do that much. Yeah, see, here's one of the traps. Let's blow that thing up. I think we have a... Sounded like we might have a Gatling gunner up ahead. But we can deal with the little guys here first. Maybe I was wrong. Oh nope, that's a Gatling gunner. Let's yeah, let's hot shot him. And while you're aiming, if you hit, at least on the keyboard, if I hit tab, it makes me switch shoulders. So good for aiming around corners like that. Not enough room. I forget what it is on console. And just just to show you guys how good Lita's armor is here, it doesn't matter if you take a few of these trap hits. Like we have a trap right here, I'll just take it on purpose. Like it's not, it, they're not like super deadly. So if you get this dungeon, don't worry too much about them. But obviously, you know, I wouldn't recommend walking into them on purpose. Let's use a dragon heart to top up my health.
Oh, there is a trap. Right there. Hey, another Gatling gunner. See if we can deal with all these guys first. And then take him out. Should be coming around the corner any minute now. Not you. Or you. Get out of here. Here we go. Yeah, hot shot him. And he's not long for this world. And there's another trait book, which reminds me, I actually have at least a couple trait points to spend. Let's do that while we have a break in the action. Holy crap, five points. Um, let's see, do I want armor effectiveness? Yeah, I'll just keep going with that. I was thinking about Mother's Blessing. It probably doesn't matter all that much, but I think I'll get Bark Skin at, to at least ten. Another trap. Another trap. And we've got these tripwires here as well. Which we can just shoot down. And then we'll use the key on the door. And that completes a little mini quest. So I got another trait point, and we got more traps right in the entrance here. So just blow those up. Some adrenaline, which I might actually want to use adrenaline now that I think about it. I think it makes you run faster. Could be useful for kind of speeding up these sections. And over here in this cabinet, we get the hunting pistol. One of my favorite weapons in the game. So, yeah, I'll probably be using that. We'll go ahead and use the little campfire here to leave. Okay, and we have one more path we can take, which is south of the checkpoint here. seeing some enemies up ahead. Oh hey, there's our purple. I was kind of wondering where it would be. What do we got? The Gunslinger's Ring. I don't think that's a bad ring. Let's check it out. Gunslinger's Ring. Increase firearm swap speed by 50% and fire rate by 10%. Not bad. It's not that great with the sniper, because it only has one shot, so the fire rate is totally useless. I think I'll just stick with what I have for now. I kind of like having the um, Ring of Evasion combined with Leto's armor. Oh, that guy did not see me coming. Maybe we can snipe an elite. Oh, come on. Dang it, I cannot get that weak spot. There we go. Let's 
Excuse me, sir. You couldn't tell. I was trying to inflict my wrath on these cabinets here. Or, I guess, bookshelves. Oh, another elite. Nice, got that weak spot hit. Damn, these annoying dudes. Gotcha. What's that guy doing there all by himself? And it looks like we've made it to the end. So this should be the world boss for Earth. And what is the name of this place? Alright, we got the Choking Hollow. That means we have the Ent as our boss. So I'm going to stick with Hotshot. If you don't get the Choking Hollow, if you get... I forgot what the other location is called. But um, if you get the other location, I think it's called the Ash Yard, you do not want to use Hotshot because you're basically firing, fighting a fire-breathing dragon and Hotshot is useless against him. But I think I am going to swap out the mod for the submachine gun. I think the healing circle is not going to be good in this fight because you kind of have to be moving all the time. So we'll just do Hunter's Mark. And heal up at the campfire and then go into the boss fight. And to prepare, um, you'll notice in the bottom left I have... I haven't had to use one yet, but that is a oil skin tonic I have hotkeyed. I made, I'm making sure I have that hotkeyed because this guy... Oh, we never used the survivor bag. Whoops. Yeah, use the survivor bag. It's got good stuff in it. Like an elixir of enlightenment. Gives you more experience. Um, crap, we'll go ahead and use that now. But yeah, uh, this guy can infect you. Give you an infection, and so you'll want to use the oil skin tonic if that happens to, you know, not be infected anymore. <laughs> so this guy's gonna send out a shockwave right away. If you can time it right, you can roll through it and not take damage. I'm really bad at timing it right, so I'm just going to immediately run to the right and hopefully avoid it entirely. Now we'll just head over to the right. And, ah, uh, it still got us. But it didn't do that much damage anyway. Alright. Let's just start wailing on this guy with the sniper and hot shot. Yeah, I missed it that time, too. Okay. And at this stage, you just want to keep on dodging him. He's sending out those blasts from his back. And yeah, you, you just don't want to get hit by those. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. shot. Yeah, if you do have a moment, you can hit that weak spot on his back. As you can see, it does a ton of damage. Oh, 
but the most important thing is to be constantly rolling out of the way of those mortars. And the quick hands trait, one of the best traits in the game. That's what you'll get for defeating the first world boss here on Earth. I really didn't need that ammo because I'm just going to get it refilled at the next checkpoint. And then over to the side here, we have some supplies after defeating the boss. Use the checkpoint to heal up, and then we'll just go, keep on going straight. And head to the Keeper's Tower. Which just kind of appears out of nowhere. So now we'll go ahead and talk to the Keeper. Cracks in the walls grow every day surrounding me. Human, the core is rotten. The root corrupts everything. Why do you distract the Keeper? Hmm. Insignificant. Chance of success negligible. The Guardians are destroyed. The Devourer lurks unchecked. The Labyrinth erodes daily. And I can behold the tide. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Very well. Enter and see. The Labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. If the path you require exists, it lies within. This is the maximum help I can provide at the moment. All endeavors will fail if I do any more. Cool. He'll send us to the labyrinth, which isn't really that much of a labyrinth. It's not super hard for us to navigate, but yeah. The path just kind of appears in front of you. And the main important thing here is to just not fall down. <laughs> So I'm going to head back to Ward 13, I think, and maybe we'll do some upgrading. First, I'll go ahead and get Bark Skin up to 10, and then I think I'll probably start putting points to Quick Hands just because I really like that trait. Extra reload speed is nice to have, obviously. And we could use the item we got from like Mangler as well as the Ent and either get a new weapon mod or a new boss weapon. I'm gonna skip out on that because it costs Luminite, and Luminite's gonna be in pretty short supply on this run. So I wanna make sure I'm using it on the right weapon, which I think I would be able to get like a one-shot shotgun with the item I got from the Ent, and I'm probably just not gonna use it. But I will go ahead and upgrade the hunting pistol. Ace mentioned a new tower appeared in the city. Just showing up like it's always been there? If it were me, I'd steer clear. What do you need? Yeah, let's get the hunting pistol up to plus five as well. Very nice. Take care, my friend. But I think that's gonna do it for now. I think that's a good stopping spot now that we have completed Earth. And we'll continue on with Rome next time. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.